Welcome to another Solar and Plow product video. Today, we will be discussing our new fresh air control called the ES24V EnviroSense Ventilation Control. This 24 volt control is an integral part of our new refresh fan line and ND6 ES24VK motorized damper kit. Today's homes are built tighter than ever, but this reduces the amount of natural ventilation that occurs. Since homes no longer breathe on their own, we need to force them to breathe by mechanically ventilating and supplying fresh air from outside into the dwelling. The ES24V allows you to supply the right amount of air to the home based on current ventilation standards and building codes while limiting activation during periods of extreme temperature and humidity. This ensures code adherence while improving comfort. The ES24V was designed here in the USA to improve indoor air quality and meet current building codes by controlling fresh air supply. In this video, we will go over the construction, installation, and code applications of the ES24V control. The ES24V housing is injection molded from high strength, flame resistant polycarbonate. Each control comes with two sensors, one for humidity and one for temperature, allowing the installer flexibility when choosing which parameters to measure, whether it be indoor or outdoor temperature or humidity. The sensors are connected to the control with 10 inch leads that can be extended up to 300 feet without deviation, giving the installer multiple installation location options. The ES24V controls ventilation equipment that supplies fresh air into the home. The control accepts a low voltage 24 volt AC 60 hertz power supply and has the ability to command the air handler unit, fresh air fan, motorized damper, and duct heater. Before beginning the install, make sure the main power supply is disconnected and locked out at the service panel. Choose a suitable location to mount the control, keeping in mind the location of the fresh air supply ductwork, HVAC thermostat, temperature and humidity sensors, and fresh air fan or damper. The control must be mounted indoors. Common locations include a stud near the air handler unit, on the air handler unit itself, on the fresh air supply ductwork, or on the fresh air supply fan. Remove the front cover by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the slot on the right hand side of the control and push inward and up. Pull up and to the left to disengage the front cover from the back cover. This will provide access to the mounting holes and terminal block. Locate the back cover on the mounting surface being sure to allow clearance for the wiring connections. Mark the mounting hole locations and remove the back cover from the workspace. Make the stripped and labeled wiring connections now. We will cover the different wiring options later. If installing onto wood, mount the back cover with the provided screws. If installing onto drywall, drill pilot holes using a 7 seconds inch drill bit and tap the provided drywall anchors into place. Mount with the provided screws. Starting on the left, align the front cover tabs with the back cover slots in a hinging motion from left to right. Press down until the front cover snaps securely into place. Now that the control is mounted, you are ready to mount the temperature and humidity sensors. Choose a suitable location that will expose the sensors to the fresh air intake, for example, the fresh air ductwork. Alternatively, the humidity sensor can be located in the return side of the HVAC unit to measure indoor relative humidity instead of outdoor relative humidity. Ideally, the sensor should be mounted within 10 inches of the control to avoid extending the sensor leads. Drill two 3 quarter inch diameter holes spaced appropriately and install the sensors with the provided hardware. Use appropriate duct tape to seal joints and openings as necessary. The ES24V is safety listed to the UL standard 60730-1, automatic electrical controls for household and similar use, and can be used to meet the following fresh air ventilation standards and building codes. ASHRAE 622-2010 through 2016, IECC, IRC, and IMC 2012 through 2015. Check back soon for part two, where we will discuss how to wire the control, and part three for setting the control, including how to set the high or low temperature and humidity limits.